I take it. That's what it looked like. Yeah, it come with, like, with more money. It looked like employee of the month. He's been employee of the month for seven out of the twelve months. <laughs> Oh man, we back with another I'll episode of FT Sports. Pew, pew, pew. We got me and we got Benya. What up, man? And we got Steve, who is the picture today. <laughs> Outrageous. It's the employee of the month. Here. He he uh he shift leader. They always get it right. He uh, shift leader let me, at let me Burger King. <laughs> he shift leader at Burger King. He look happy. <laughs> Let me do my intro, Mister. I predict every game and get it right, Mister. I'm always right because I know what I'm talking about, Mister. Hey, did you did you did you choose King Green Bay? Dog. Did you choose Green Bay because you did? I didn't do any. I didn't do any picks of that. Oh yeah, we I didn't. didn't he didn't. They they, they loved. But was you going? But was you going to choose Green Bay? He can, Be he honest. Gonna lie. He gonna lie. Yeah, because I don't. I don't like Cowboys. Everybody, y'all know that. Ah. I know I'm like Cowboys. Listen, so <laughs> I was really against them, but I didn't so, pick anybody though. Yeah, you see, they lucked up because I forgot to ask them in the chat. So me and Ben did a whole episode. We did predictions, but I forgot to ask them since they weren't on. Were you gonna choose Buccaneers? No, yeah. I wouldn't have. Yeah. Okay, I didn't I expect the Eagles Buccaneers. to, to hey, go Ruben, down like that. One, Ruth. Um, because you chose. Cause I chose um my dolphins. The dolphin you did choose. But I only them chose them because I, I just wanted to choose them. It wasn't because I thought they was gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I chose the, I just chose the Chiefs because it was cold. Um, I chose the Eagles, but I said I would not be surprised because the the Bucks don't got no uh no expectations. Uh, I don't like Dallas. And I chose the Bills because I mean we knew the Steelers wasn't finna do nothing. Now the Texans, <laughs> the Texas Browns game, that one surprised me. Who did I, I, I chose the Texans though? Yeah, you chose Texas. I chose Browns because I thought the defense was gonna go crazy, but how wrong the about that? I actually, I actually chose Texas on that. You did? Yeah. Well, because I was the... like, go ahead. What happened? Go ahead. No, the reason why I chose them because I was like. They were my underdog pick because nobody expected a rookie and a rookie head coach to, you know, at, yeah, make the playoffs at that. So I was like, you know what? Why not bet you gonna roll with personally them. for them? And I was like, all right, cool. So when they won, I was excited. I was like, yeah, that's good. I don't think they're going to get out. Well, when we get to that part, I ain't going to do my we underdog We're about to talk about yet. it right now. We finna, we finna talk about it right now. Wait, you know what? Let's talk about this. Which was more disappointing, the Eagles or the Cowboys? Which one was more disappointing, Steve? Well, we'll start, to... Oh, well, Benio, we'll start with you. There's nothing disappointing about the Cowboys. That's not even just <laughs> not even a question. We knew I exactly what the Cowboys agree. was going to do. We knew exactly what the Cowboys was going to do. <laughs> they do it every year. They do it every year. It's so, every man. Year. Listen, bro. I I thought now I didn't. I none of us like the Cowboys. We get it. Now the whole thing with not the, the Cowboys. Cowboys Listen, everybody, it, it's not the Cowboys, it's the it's fans. It's the fans. Okay? It is the fans. It's not the Cowboys. So the Cowboys' misery carries over to the fans, and we love the fans' misery. Now, <laughs> it's, it's crazy because it's so consistently right every year. Like, that's what's wild. It's like no matter how good they actually are on paper, it always comes down to what they do here, and it always... I think won. it's Jerry's fault. Jerry Jerry Jones? Yeah, I think his hand's too much in a pot. Like, they've been good mm -hmm. all year to come to the playoffs. I'm not saying all year, but I'm saying they've been, you know, they've been better than they, they have been, been, been all, yeah. in previous years. Yeah. And then, for some reason, yesterday, they just were totally off. What was it? I don't know. It was yesterday or uh, Sunday. Sunday. They were totally off. Like, even Mike McCarthy was like, he was off. Everybody was off, like, out of nowhere during this playoff run. So, I'm just assuming. I don't know if Jerry says something or – I'm not assuming, you know. Mm. I, I mean, I don't know. It could be anything. But it just it just didn't seem right. When I saw Green Bay went up 21-0 in, in the first quarter or first half, I was like, man, this is not good. This is over with. Mm -hmm. And it's not, that's not Dallas light. You know what I'm saying? They didn't even play man like they usually do. They were playing zone. It was just so crazy. Mm -hmm. First of all, you called it a playoff run. That's not something that the Cowboys do. 
They don't run anything. Oh, season run. They don't run no. anything. <laughs> Nothing in the playoffs. Season, run. It's not a playoff run. It, but, it's just the playoffs. They just did. I don't know. I like like I was like I was texting y'all. It's a curse. It's it's just a curse that they have on there because their fans are delusional throughout <laughs> the entire season, and they, they deserve are. that misery they are. every year for that first round playoff. They deserve that misery for talking as much as they talk. Grinch. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna send him. I'm gonna send him this video. <laughs> He's top tier with it, boy. I'm talking about every year. This yeah. year huh? You know this what's funny about year. this? Somewhere, somewhere during the off season coming up, when after the Super Bowl, somewhere in the off season, they're gonna forget this happened, and it's gonna start all over again. <laughs> you know when they it's forget it? Start all over. Let me again. tell you when they forget it. After they get a new coach and they do a couple of draft picks, oh, they they back on it again. It doesn't <laughs> they back on long. it again. <laughs> they back on they it. They right back on it. Don't make no Bro, sense. They're not gonna say they lost seventeen years in a row. They're gonna just talk about when they won the Super Bowl. Let's talk about right. Oh, they're gonna talk about in the nineties. Smith and Michael Irvin and Irvin and all them. They're not gonna talk about nothing. That's how they're gonna go. I saw I saw like a little clip when he was uh he was like turning up on uh outside. Oh man, he, had, he was sitting lost. down inside and he went off. But that man was <laughs> upset. <laughs> it's so wild, bro. Like I don't. I knew that they was going to lose. You said twenty one nothing. I saw fourteen nothing, and I felt like it was over because of body language. If in the whole thing and with the arguing. Cowboys is they're front runners. If they not winning the game already, it's over. It's mm-hmm. over, bro. As soon as they yep. go down. It's over. They even pulled the stats. As soon as the Texans, not Texans, as soon as the Green Bay scored their first touchdown, they said the Dallas Cowboys have five losses. All of those losses, the other team scored first. <laughs> yeah. And I then said, CD, oh, CD wasn't well, getting any, you know, he wasn't playing like himself. It was just so off. Like, yeah, like what's going on? It was bad, bro. Um, yes. Also, the the bland, the the cornerback bland uh, that was getting was all the pick sixes, I want you to know something, bro. When you a DB and you getting thrown at a lot, you aren't good. You gotta make it, it think uh-huh. about think about it. Pick sixes and you getting all them picks and all of that. When Trayvon yeah. Diggs was getting all them picks, but yeah. he also was giving up all them yards. It's because they're throwing at you. They don't respect you, bro. So when mm-hmm. Bland was getting them pick sixes, he even broke a record and everything. He gave up about a hundred and fifty and some and two touchdowns the other night. <laughs> the saying, people that we never heard of. When you a DB, bro, and you getting thrown at a lot, you yeah, you the duck. You exactly. You you the one they finna try out. On the other on the other side was what uh, Stephon Gilmore. They ain't trying him. No, nah, he he didn't really. He played corner, but he was more so playing like it was weird. Like he was mm-hmm. playing nickel a little bit. Like, yeah. He didn't okay. Really so that corner was... corner. Like he played he played all over. Yeah. So that that was something that they also said. They said that they really couldn't stop the run. But because they had all them DBs in, they never put a big body in there. They kept throwing in DBs instead of putting another linebacker or something in there. But it is what it is. Now, that's disappointing. But the Eagles. Not disappointing. You don't think the Eagles was disappointing? No. No, I'm saying the Cowboys wasn't disappointing. Oh, you said it wasn't? (laughs) The Eagles wasn't. Well, to me, because I have been telling y'all all season, the Eagles do not love all, even when they was 10 and 1, I was like, don't y'all, all these wins that they got, they scraped by at the end. Literally all of them. Like, yeah. Seven point games, three point games. Like, they're supposed to be this dominant team that everybody had chose to go back to the championship. And they were literally barely scraping. Yeah, they were 10 and 1, but barely scraping by. And people were mm-hmm. like, well, you know, you, it's, how, it's how you end the game. Yeah, yeah, that's all. That's true and everything. But that catch up to you after a while. It does. It does. Yeah, I, I see what you mean by that. Um, I think when you win, is more, it's harder to make a game plan after winning. It's easier when you lose. You can point at what why you lost. But when you're winning while doing having bad habits, you just see the win. So you're just like, well, it's working. So we ain't got to really change anything. So it caught it, it caught up with them. They lost five or six in the regular season to lead up to this. So 
them losing to the Bucks, it was already like it was already written, basically. You yeah, know, what I'm lost, lost five out of the last six. Won't really call, count the last game because they sat. The yeah, because they, they sat. They sat four. everybody. Yeah, so you can say four out of the last five, <laughs> but it all started with that that Forty ers game. They went into that Forty ers game and got thrashed. It was a beat down. I think what what mm-hmm. happens too when they take when like real tough teams take L's. I think other people see how they beat them and they just use it and then go forward from there. I don't see, I don't even know if it was that because, like I said, a lot of their games throughout the season were close. close. Then they played the 49ers, it wasn't close. It was what, 42 19? Just mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then the next week it was the Cowboys. Again, the Cowboys just went out there and just completely beat them. Like it wasn't Mag- a close game. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a close game. The week after that, now the week after that was the Seahawks game. And the Seahawks won that game with some last second, like mm-hmm. Hail Mary type thing, you know. So yeah. that that could have went out of the way. But then after that, you go and you have a close game against the Giants. And they're trash. And then after that, you go and lose to the Cardinals. And the Falcons. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was already written for them boys, man. But that I think no, those, I'm okay with out of the out of the first round, I believe that those two were the most like. I feel like people are more shocked by those two losing out of every everybody else in the first round. Because I mean, Miami had Kansas City. I mean, come on, that's Mahomes. Uh, the Steelers had the Bills. No, I have a reason why the. Miami lost. What's up? My theory is obviously we could tell that he could not throw the ball because he was cold. Mm-hmm. If Miami would have played down here against Kansas City, I'm not saying that they would have won. It would have been better in a whole different game. And then if Miami would have beat the Bills, they would end up playing Pittsburgh and you would have had the Bills and KC playing each other. So yeah. there's a, a lot of different factors. So, I mean, I'm not going to ever say that I think that they would have lost to mm-hmm. Kansas City, but I think it would have been a different outcome because it, it, it was like negative twenty three. Like I yeah, know it was, I can't. It was it was I cold. I can't send out there for two seconds. It was cold out there. That's they, crazy. They told they told all the fans that they could not not have something on their face. They told them to put something on your face, bring out coats and jackets and everything. So no, but, but there was a man out there with no shirt on and no nothing on his body. He from went, Miami. He, he must. He from? Listen, he said Miami. <laughs> He, he, must, hey, he must have got past. Was he the black? <laughs> no, 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 I was a white was he man. Black? I just asked a question. <laughs> he was a white man. Okay, who, I forgot who well, I was watching. There it is. Was like, there was like he's trying to send a message that um, we ain't soft in Miami, All so right. they can come to that cold and be. I was and like, that boy in the hospital, God forbid. <laughs> that boy in the I'm hospital. Okay, I see him on the camera a lot. Yeah, they. I guess what once you put them on the camera, once you got to continue to like. I think they was really just checking on them. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> they was checking on yeah, them. That's that all that was. The out there. Yeah, they was like, all right, is he still there? It look, all right, he's still moving around, so he good. He good. <laughs> that boy right. lost his mind. Here we go. After the wild card round, we now have the divisional round, and here we go with these NFL predictions for the playoffs. We're gonna start with. The Texans versus the Ravens. Steve, I already know who you're going to pick. Yeah, you know I'm going to pick the Ravens. I'm sorry. <laughs> I already know you're going to pick the Ravens. because you, you I have to. They're not, they're not been, even an underdog. How many How many years have you been pulling for the Ravens to win the whole thing, bro? Since Lamar got into the league. <laughs> <laughs> He's been pulling for the Ravens for the longest, man. He put a pickle yeah. on the line. He done did everything. <laughs> yeah. So you got the Ravens over the Texans. Benya, who you got? Texans or Ravens? I got the Ravens taking this one. Um, uh, I'm upset. Don't make it hard on yourself. You know the truth. I, I know. No, I'm just upset, upset that we got to play this man twice a season for the rest of the football time. I don't like it. Me I neither, bro. Really don't like it. And they're only going to get better. Bro, it's yeah, it's going, about to get it's about to get worse, bro. It get better. So, I mean, the Raven. I don't I don't know because the Browns' defense was supposed to be good, and 
them boys picked it apart. So the Ravens they, they defense is be really good, and and so, I don't know. I'm I I feel like this is there's nothing to stop Lamar right now from going. I don't mm-hmm. think Kansas City is not as strong as they they were. Mm-hmm. I mean the Bills, maybe maybe the Bills, but other than that, and I don't even th- no. They've been blowing everybody out. <laughs> <laughs> the Ravens. Listen, bro. This I'm, might be the closest game they play, tell you the truth. I really think it is. I, I feel like when you have a team like the Texans, they're the same as Green Bay, same as the Bucks. They have no expectations. They have already surpassed what they were supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Texans was not supposed to be in the playoffs right now at all. No, Ten wins. Not, the not, 10 not right season. now. A 10-win season? They was not supposed to have a 10-win season. They have already surpassed what they were supposed to do. So, them being in the divisional round, beating the Browns in dominating fashion, and doing all this, they playing with house money right now, bro. Yeah. They playing with house money. But I'm but taking you know, the Ravens. Only reason I'm taking the Ravens is because the Ravens has beaten everybody that they said was good. Every team you thought was good, the Ravens done beat them. It's gonna be yeah. a close, I feel like it's gonna be a close game, just like you said, because I think, like I said, they playing with house money, but I think at, in the end, it's gonna show why the Ravens got that bye week. It's gonna show. Of course. My, I, before we, we move on, I feel like it's gonna be a good game because CJ Stroud is playing phenomenal. Like if right. you see him, like he has poise, his accuracy, I'm like, so he's mad demeanor, at like he's you, been there. I'm like so he's mad. so like it's different. It it's kind of reminds me. Of a damn, I hate to compare this, but like a Donovan McNabb type of player, like mm-hmm. it's just it's just the way that he conducts himself. Like I don't know, it's just a lot of different things where he just I, I don't know. It's just I love this. I love to see the man play, but yeah. I just got to go with Lamar because you know I'm never gonna <clears throat> bet against Lamar. Right. I just pray and hope that Lamar just plays like he's been playing and doesn't try to do too much because it's the playoffs. Yeah. I, th- I think he I think because of how Lamar has played this like this season, if you go look at some of the highlights, like he's not just pulling the ball down and running. He's staying in the pocket to throw that bitch. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That that's that's showing maturity right there. So I believe like he's gonna take that into this game and he's gonna be poised. He know he he know he need to win this. So I feel like he's gonna he's gonna go in there and, and get that. So yeah, and it's home. So yeah, and it's a home game. He got he got but, home I mean, all the way to the Super Bowl. He got home all the way to the yeah, Super Bowl. They they've been blowing <clears> out the team that people were saying were good, but this is a team that nobody thought was good. So it's a different yeah. dynamic. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's a different dynamic. Like they, you know. But moving on to the other side, Kansas City versus the Bills. This will be the trilogy. Kansas City versus the Bills. Steve, oh, who you man, got? I'm, I'm, I'm so tired of seeing them. Like, I'm so <laughs> tired. Like, I just don't care. Like, we already know so what happens just tired of every it? year. Like, it's always going to be Kansas City. Like, I'm just so tired. But this year, I'm going to go with the Bills. I think Bills going to figure it out, and they're going to beat the Kansas City Chiefs this year. Okay. Uh, Ben, what you got? Kansas City or the Bills? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go Buffalo. I think it's this is a time where they actually finally beat them because Kansas City isn't as tough as they they, they were before, mm-hmm. especially not with Kelsey. Yeah. What you mean not with Kelsey? Kelsey hasn't been playing great. Like last game, he dropped like four passes. Like, oh, he just... I thought you meant like he was out or something. I was gonna say, oh, yeah, they no, definitely... no, no, no. He's playing, oh no, no, he's playing. He's he like just a... he just <laughs> hasn't been like he, he just hasn't, hasn't been, been Kelsey that we you know. That we've grown to love, but yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go. You know what? I'm going my homes. I, I'm not betting against. Oh, my homes. oh, I'm taking my homes. Um, just off the fact of, I think they just, you know, how it's just a team that just always got your number, no matter what it is. I think that's Kansas City over the Bills. But see, that's that's the thing about it. It's not like they really have their number because. Buffalo has the win percentage over them in a regular season when they mm-hmm. like if they play them in Buffalo, Kansas City don't win. Mm-hmm. Kansas City been winning in the playoffs because the playoffs have been going through. They've been Kansas having City. yeah, they've been having going through uh Kansas City. This time they're going it's to in, Buffalo. It's in Buffalo. Yeah. 
I'm I, I'm still I'm gonna yeah. take my homes. I'm gonna still take my homes. Uh, I'm gonna still uh, take my homes. I I just feel like you know my homes gonna figure out how to do it. This is actually his first road game. That's wild, by the way. That's why. That's what I'm saying. It's a whole this different dynamic. First road to everything. game. Is I feel trilogy. like everything is 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 pointing at the Bills, but I'm gonna just go Mahomes, bro. I, I don't know why. I'm, I can't do it. I feel like as soon as uh-huh. I bet against Mahomes, he gonna go out there and prove me wrong. So Mahomes, <laughs> you're not really betting against Mahomes. You're betting against his team, man. That too. It's not him. It's that's really not that, him. That's true. Team. That's true. I, feel, I, I do feel like they have struggled throughout this entire, you know, this uh, entire season. Um, a lot of drops, a lot of that, and I think the Bills do have wide open. Like I feel like they have like something to prove because I know they tired of losing to this fool. Yeah. It's literally yeah. just him knocking them out of the playoffs. You feel me? And they and they don't got they don't got hot at the end of the season, getting into here. So I feel like everything is pointing. Okay. Out, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go Kansas City. And don't that's forget the last time that they met, it was before they changed the NF. That's the reason why they changed the NFL. They changed, yeah, they changed the rule because of the Bills. Yeah. But because of them two going back and forth, touchdown every 30 seconds. What is wrong with y'all? What are y'all? That's doing? different. That's different. <laughs> that's different. You thought the game was over? How many seconds on the clock? Two. Mahomes got a touchdown for you. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. Don't worry. That's enough. Them boys was literally just. Throwing a touchdown pass every 30, 45 seconds back and forth. It was wild. Well, and I, I think they wanted to defense continue to see it. Like, that's, that's, I feel like it's going to be fireworks. I feel like it's going to be fireworks again. I don't, so, you know, it's going to be a much watched game. I can't, yeah. I can't, I can't wait. Yeah, that's going to be the best. That's going to be the, the most watched game out of all of the divisional games because Texans, Ravens, Kansas City Bills, Green Bay, San Francisco, great games, Lions, great Bucks. Games. I feel like all the games are good, but that's going to be the most watched one. But most watched. Moving on to the other side, the Bucks versus the Lions. Benya, who you got? Hmm. hmm. <laughs> I think Baker has done enough to get his contract. So you think it's over? <laughs> it's, it's this is where it stops. <laughs> It stops right here. This is where it, it stops, stops right, right here. here. <laughs> that boy, he finna have a whole time because he finna have that monster that we should have had on our team. Aiden Hutchinson coming after him. <laughs> the entire game. Yeah. So it's, it's gonna get bad out there for him. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm taking the Lions too. I, I um I've always said with the Bucks, like for this season, particular, because I'll be talking to Diggy, you know, he a Bucks fan. I'll be telling him, like, bro, they don't have no expectations. So that's the best thing for Baker is to play with no expectations at all. They're about to get a little bit of expectations now that now that they here. This is actually a favorable matchup for them versus the Lions. But I'm taking the Lions as well. Steve, who you got? Okay. Now this is hard. And I had to think about this uh, before we had. This know, is actually the, the hardest, the hardest matchup to pick, to be honest, out of, out of the four. So my heart is going to go with the Lions. I think the Lions are going to overcome a lot of historic failures, mm-hmm. like a lot of different things that but they, they haven't made. They haven't got a playoff now. once since 91. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. to see the city's going to be on fire. I think they're playing in Detroit, so it's going to be a whole different yeah. thing. Yeah, they so, you know what I'm saying? So I have to go with the Lions. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, I do have to say this about the Bucks, though. Like, I feel like the Bucks are the same team without maybe a few little pieces in Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. Um, but the way that Baker played yesterday, he had zero interceptions. He threw for like 300 some or 400 some, I believe. Um, I don't think he threw and like three touchdowns. I think it was three some. Yeah, it was like yeah. three something, and then I think three touchdowns. So it was like good to see him play like Baker that we that we saw, you know, as the first round pick. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like I'm gonna say that it's gonna be a great game to see that dynamic. I think the defense is gonna, ha- you know, really hold them because that's a, that's a crazy defense. All these these guys out here, like they young. I think they're not older than I think the oldest person is probably like 26 on that defense. Mm-hmm. So like they're young, they're energetic, they're moving. So I'm gonna say the Lions though, but I'm not gonna sleep on the Bucks, is what I'm gonna say. But I'm gonna say Lions get this one. Okay, so we all take Close the Lions. Game. Ben, what up, man? What's going on? What's going on there? 
Chilling, man. Chilling. Uh, we already did the AFC side, so you can go ahead and put your pick in for the Texans versus the Ravens. Give me the Ravens by 14. Oh, he got a number for y'all. <laughs> he got two touchdowns on y'all. And uh, the Chiefs and the Bills. The Chiefs by a field goal in overtime. He with me. So it's <laughs> us two versus Billy and Steve for the Chiefs and the Bills game. They both took the Bills on me, dog. Y'all should just listen. I don't like to listen. <laughs> All right. You're going you to be a winner for the first time because you're on this side. <laughs> I'm a winner all the time. What do you mean? <laughs> I only got one wrong. I only got one wrong. Left. Okay, and then uh, Ben, the Bucks versus the Lions. Who you got? I like Detroit. You don't they like really Detroit. Right I like. I'm. A, I'm gonna go with the Lions. Oh, so you going with the Lions? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You so say everybody going. With the Lions. going everybody going no, with the Lions. No point. No point. Aspect in this one, though, huh? Nah. You got no points for that one. <laughs> All right. So the last matchup is Green I Bay. I don't know what they're going to do for real. Oh, the, I, yeah. It's, it's, I feel like yeah. that, this is going to be the toughest like matchup out of all of them, to be honest. It this is going to be watched, like, too. That's the either, that's the either way one. Like, I really, I'm going to be locked in. I'm going to actually like, try to analyze that game because I feel like they're two teams that, like, they're tough. To be honest, they tough lying. right now. Talk about analyze. You know we analyze every game, we, even if we don't try to. Yeah, I'm, but I'm going to really be locked into this one because I don't know what to expect. Like, Because one of these teams are going to be facing Green Bay or the 49ers. But, I'm, I mean, we anybody don't, come on, man. choosing? We don't got to go there. The 49ers? Anybody? Nah. No. Not there to be different? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> but did I do it? I feel like I, that's I, the I'm most. You going to do it? Gonna do it? Step I'm going to step out on the limb. I'm gonna do it. Come I'm on. gonna choose the 49ers by 40. <laughs> I thought he was gonna do it. I thought he was gonna take the love. I thought he was gonna I thought love was in the air. I thought he was gonna take the love. Love is gonna be great. Too, love is gonna be great. He has a lot of potential, but he's I don't see them beating that. That's a tough matchup to play. Yeah, nah, that's the tough If he was anywhere else, but that's a tough matchup. That's a tough team right there, bro. I truly believe San Fran gonna win. But just because everybody is with San Fran, I'm going to rock out with J-Lo, man. Oh, we got somebody taking Green Bay. Ben is taking you Green Bay. I'm going to go Green Bay by 10. 10? Two you scores? Shock the world. You got out of control. <laughs> Who getting hurt? You must oh, got man. you must got Debo, CMC, Purdy. He must got uh, some people getting like, you know, you know All of them getting hurt. In the first play of the game, he That's knows something, bro. He knows something. That's probably why he took that. He knows something nah, under he... underneath the table happening right now, bro. <laughs> no, he don't know. He just want to be against us because he just want to be against us. They always like to be opposite. <laughs> oh man! All right, Ben. Since you here, uh, can you tell us which one I guess was more disappointing, the Eagles' loss or the Cowboys' loss? Um, I'm gonna go with the Eagles because. Dallas do this mm -hmm. every year. Dallas has okay. done this every we year. We all said that. We all said the same thing. <laughs> we Dallas, all said I that. Feel like, what, 96, right? Yeah. That's how long it's been. They've done this every year since then, if they've made the playoffs. But when they make it, they go right home, and it's in an ugly fashion. We all knew that was coming. It didn't matter who mm -hmm. they was going up against, whether it was Green Bay, <laughs> Detroit, San Fran, Philly. Whoever made the playoffs in the NFC, they was it could have been the Bears. The Bears could have snuck in at the last. <laughs> minute. I believe it. That's what's and, funny about it. And, I believe not it. Though, I, Dallas you actually collapsed. right. I believe the it, Cowboys, bro. I really believe anybody could have took them on that day and won. They don't have a football identity, and they haven't had one for decades. And yeah. they're never gonna get anywhere doing anything like that. So it, for me. No. It, Philly was the, the most shocking loss. Yeah. So I got a quick take for this one, right? What's so up? there's a lot of rumors talking about Mike being fired. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that's the right move to fire him? Because they want to pursue Belichick is what I'm hearing. But Belichick already said, because I just read um, an article saying that he wants to play for a team that is an underdog that is you know trying to reestablish themselves. Why but do you, you think that Mark McCarthy is the correct option to fire and not really just try to fix something within that organization? 
Um, I think there's a common denominator from all these past teams in this Dak Prescott. No, I don't think so. Not. Because Tony Romo was the quarterback at one point in time. It was the same thing. Yeah. I think it's Jerry. It's Jerry, think Jerry but too much. Yeah. It got to be Jerry, much. then. It is the fans. They don't even touch the field. They ain't got nothing Come to do on, with man. it. It's the fans, okay? Man, it's Jerry, man. <laughs> it, it hey, hey, I mean... <laughs> When we have a year that the Cowboy fans don't come out and say, we them boys and we going to the Super Bowl, that's going to be the year they finally get a playoff win. <laughs> well, that's going to be never done. We, we never going to see it. We ain't never going to see that, bro. We I, never I, see I, the, only, the only reason I say it, it, it that plays a part in it is because it, it carries over from his body language. Like I said, when they was down 14 nothing, bro, you go to that sideline, he already – you can see it in his face, he, he done. He gave up. And but people were yelling at him though. The whole team, everybody else. He yelled him. back. But that's not his thing. He's not a <laughs> yell backer. He, the they never seen him. He the quarterback. He he handled that. everything. Listen, if, never if you're a receiver, if you listen, if you're a receiver and I'm the quarterback and you yelling at me, just know I'm finna send you over the middle. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Don't mess with me. <laughs> you about to get sent over the middle and and, and I'm throwing it. And it might he be, said, and I might throw it out in front of you. So you better, <laughs> you better watch who you're talking to. I'm just saying, bro. I, like, even though I feel like every part of the game for Dallas played a part in them losing, and it might be everybody's fault. That's true. <laughs> it, it might be everybody's fault. fault. It's Jerry Jones' it's fault. Man. It's the coach's fault. It's, it's definitely fault. Jerry. No, it's, it's the not defense. the coach, man. It's the defense fault. It's everybody's fault. Mike defense. is like the best coach that I've seen that they had in a long time. I don't the think defense, Mike guy. did anything wrong. The defense got deep fried. Yeah, they got. They hey, did. They went to a zone from a man. Like it was just crazy. I, they, know, what they, I think what happened is, you know how like you get into these playoff games, you think you need to adjust to something, and you stop no, playing yeah. your version of the game. That's what happened. They stopped playing because Dallas defense football. They just started playing some other shit that they ain't do yet. Right now, Michael they Parsons, stick. Michael Parsons, who leading the pressures, don't get no pressures. Come on, man. But they were holding him a lot though. And I've seen it. Like they were holding that man. Mm. They only called it like maybe twice. But if you look at it, they be holding. He's being held. Yeah, they just letting it go. So but maybe you know, just, it's a part I of the script. Maybe it's a script move. Hey. And this Roger Goodell call. He said, "Don't call no more holding. <laughs> I maybe, need them I to know. lose for the for the clicks and likes. That's what I need." Hey, hey Roger, if you're watching, <laughs> just let me know what the T is. Yeah, that's probably what it is, bro. But because it just weird. there's dang, no way that Dallas. they played the way they played, and then play they played horribly against a team that nobody really expected much from them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know they make a little run, they look a little. It better. was undefeated at home. They won a little, you know, in the division, and to lose like that, it was kind of like what the hell. They was undefeated yeah. at home. Everything. The Cowboys. I I don't know. Understand why y'all shocked. I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with the whole the aspect of that the Cowboys. But I'm just talking like in general. You watching? If yeah, you look first, at stats, and you look first at this, round this, L. I I, I be giving them first round, but second round L's is the one where I be like, "Yep, they out now." But they a first yeah. round L. Have they made it out the I first agree. round? Yeah. When? Just last uh, year. Last year. No, nah, they ain't make it out the first round. No, because they beat Tom Brady. Brady. They I mean, that's Brady. why he retired. Ended up retiring, and then he retired. They beat Brady, and then the year, and not the year after, but the the, the next game they lost. That wasn't the Rams. No, it was it was, was it Dallas. Way? Dallas put out Tampa Bay last year. Yeah, I, I feel like yeah, that's that's correct because they, I they got that. past. They, the they, first. they made it the second well, round. How many other first rounds they got past? That's nasty, oh, man, that, that. They got a couple of them. It's a whole uh-huh. list. It's a whole list. They got past the first round a, a few times because a, cu- a couple of them That's games, you got to remember, they lost to um, the Eagles. That ain't no first round. That's usually second round. And then the 49ers put them out. That ain't no first round. That's second round. So they done got out of the first round a couple times. It's just that next game after, they get shipped off. We gotta see this. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, they actually been getting past the first round. It's not a first round L all the time, but it, it's in there. <laughs> Did Dad get his dad got a new contract, right? Oh, not yet. Yeah. No, he yeah. got a new one. Oh, so they stuck. It wasn't him. like it wasn't like it wasn't like one of them crazy ones, though. 
Yeah, it was. Something, it, something. It wasn't just to make that happy. like you know they be trying to get that that bag, that quarterback bag. He didn't get the quarterback bag. Because I was gonna say like they might try to they might make the change. CD gonna be CD. They are gonna probably get CD whatever. Yeah, you can't let CD though. go. You can't let CD you go. Can't. CD CD E two E two fire, bro. E two viable. Yeah, so, I don't know, but he breaking records and he doing all kind of stuff. He like so. I just wanted to know, but yeah, right, I'm done. Told, okay, so, so that yeah, that playoffs is 2007 first round loss, 2009 first round loss, 2014 second round loss, 2016 first round loss, 2018 second round loss, 2021 first round loss, 2022 second round, and this year first round. See, so it's yeah, a lot see. more first rounds. Have they ever? It's a lot more first round, but I'm telling you, they get they get past it sometimes. <laughs> they I mean, get, last they year up, they, they went. You know, past they it. get up in there. That sometimes. was a big thing. They get up in that there. Was sometimes. A big thing. It was any of those first round loss them being the number one seed. No, because no, it's all no. wild. Well, no, yeah, because this 2007 it was it was division game. So that See, was the first that's round. that's oh, and 2016. Yeah, and so 2016. that's technically second round. No, that's technically first round. Because that's, that's the first, first game they played in the playoffs. Game they play. <laughs> it's their first game, but technically it's the second. I hit. If they ain't playing the wild card, they <laughs> I want to hit. Because if they anyway. would have played in the wild card, they would have lost. <laughs> anyway, yeah. we're going to move right. real quick over to the NBA. The All-Star selection is about to happen on the 20th. We right, we right in front of it, so we'll be able to get this video out with our predictions. For the NBA, they doing the East and West this year. They not doing the whole uh, the teams anymore. So we are going to give our starting five from the East and the West. Ben, we're going to oh. start with you. Go ahead. Five from the East, five from the West from this year. All right. Um, you think point, guard, get, point guard, give me Halliburton. Halle. Nice. Center, give me him. Center, give me B. Yeah. Um, I'll four, give me Giannis. Yeah, three and the two, three and the two. This the E. I'm trying to think, I'm yeah, thought yeah. I'm running through all the games in my in my mind right now. You got Paolo's the mind. Well, you're on the East right now, right? You said Paolo, Paolo's coming to mind for that three spot. Mm. Um, you going yeah, with it? Man, that's crazy. You disrespected some people. Am I? Paolo been shitting on niggas all season. Yeah, yeah. yeah but you still forgetting about he respecting. He ain't respecting the Orlando Magic right now, bro. I'm, no, no, I'm not, I'm not. He's played well. I've seen. I've seen like two games with him, and he like he had to, he could get the ball last few minutes, and he he dropping them things or he's driving to the hole. I've seen it. I yeah. think he's gonna be a, a superstar. Um. I'm gonna say all star. I can't get superstar status to everybody yet, but I think he's gonna be all star for sure. But not over Tatum though. But that's hey Ben, this is your list. Yeah, this is this is. I, 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 I can swing Tatum at the at the two. All right, so Tatum, and you got one more for the East. You going with Paolo? It, it would either be Paolo or Julius Randle. Mm, so who who you take? Mm, mm, Paolo. Um, probably Paolo. Hello. All yeah. right. And now your west side. All right. Give me give me Braun and Joker off back. Yeah. Mm. Um give me Chef. Curry himself. Um Give me Luca. Mm. Yeah, that's tough. And who the West? Jesus Christ. It's a lot of them too, bro. The West has been insane this year. Um, I'm getting forgetting about Gilly. Ah, oh, I got it. Yeah, gonna be shy. Shy. Okay, gonna get, we're gonna go with with Shay yeah. right here. Okay. All right. So you, for your East, you got Halliburton, Embiid, Giannis, Tatum, and Paolo as your five from the East, and your five from the West is Bron, Jokic, Curry, Luca, and Shay Gilly. All right, Benya. Let's go. Who you got? Starting five East All Stars. Start five West All Stars. I have nothing because I have not been watching the NBA a lot this season. Yeah. yeah. So 
I can't even really participate. It'll be all Miami Heat players. All right. So my I'm for the East starting five. Miami starters. I'm gonna just put Miami starters for the East. You you want to give a West or you just go? So let me do Luca, Braun, Joker, Steph, and Kawhi. All right. Kawhi He's, actually been going crazy. He has though. This um, year. And he's been playing a lot of games. He actually they put in this rule about play 65 games and you can't sit out. Kawhi been playing every game. <laughs> but he's gonna get he's gonna get his rest. <laughs> he's been playing every game. But uh Steve, on you, east side. East side. Ooh. I haven't really been watching. We talked about it before. Yeah, um, we started, but um, I'm gonna say on the east, I'm gonna say Halley. Okay, I like I like how he's playing. Like he's playing like real good basketball. You're like a geek playing basketball. And I like it. <laughs> you look like um, a geek playing basketball. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like it. So that's 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 my one, um, two. Ooh. I don't know. I could put that at two. I could go the three. You know, I'm gonna put my my, my guy Tatum. All right. Um, four. I'm gonna put Giannis. All right. And five. Ooh, it was a good five in the East. Oh, and B. And B. All right. And yeah, you got, you got one more got, guard like, oh, for, for the, the two. Ooh, yeah, man, I don't. There's nobody that stands out to me. Tyler Hero. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know it's crazy. You can choose another point guard if you want. I'm telling you, it's mm. Tyler Hero. We we. I'm gonna say they're gonna put somebody. Dame in there. They're, they're gonna put Dame. Dame Dollar. Dame's gonna be in there. Yeah, they're gonna put Dame in there. Dame just hit a game winner the other night. Y'all saw that? We all sleeping on somebody. You yeah, I know. Well, I can't think right now. I, I, we I all feel that on somebody from the east at the two, and it just came to me, and I don't know why I think of this. I can't uh, think of the person. Who is it? Let me see. Hold on. Wait, wait. East side. We sleeping. Oh, I'm gonna take that back. Is, is it at the top? Is it at the? Are they at the top of the 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 um the standings like the team? To my other team, he played for. Yeah. Oh, no. Nope. Dang, I want to see if I can get it. They're a decent team. They're a decent team? They in, they're in the top four. Top four. Okay. Tyrese Maxey. Dang. That's a good one. That is a good one. I don't know. Who, who is it? Brunson. Sp Spider Mitchell. Donovan. Mm. Oh. Hmm. Mm. I haven't seen him play a single game. <laughs> Donovan, they don't put uh, Dame he, before him. I don't. I don't think. I don't think he'll he'll get it this year as a starter. If he gets in, it'll be <laughs> reserve. Yeah. I actually, I, I want to take my back. I think Powell. Not Powell. What's that? What's that boy name? Paulo. Paulo. Yeah. I think Paulo will get in this year because they show him, they show him a lot. Okay. You know, that's how so media take, works. When they show somebody a out? lot, they're gonna put him in. All right. Who you taking? Um, out? I'm gonna take Dame out. Dame out, put in Paulo. All right. West side. I'm going to put. Okay, West side. Oh, man. We got to put Braun. Yeah. You got to put Joker. Suspects. Yeah, you got to put Braun, Joker. Um, point guard. Um, It's hard. Like, oh, Steph. Steph mm. going to be in there. These, KD going to be in there. Regardless of how we say anything, it's how it works. Yeah. Um, I'm missing one, right? Yeah, one yeah. more. So what did I say? I said Brian Joker, Steph, KD. Who am I missing? Oh, Shy. Shay. Shay Gilly. Yeah. All right. Uh for me, I'm putting Paolo in there for sure. Give us one. <laughs> we getting one. We putting Paolo in here. Uh Giannis and B got I mean, they make it very hard to not put them in. I'm also putting in, I already said his name. I'm putting in Tyrese Maxey. 
Only only reason because that he really showed what he can do without Harden being there. And like it's crazy. The man averaging about 27 or something like that. Yeah, he's going crazy. Like he's going crazy. And I'm taking uh Halliburton. Halliburton is actually bringing that old school point guard back, which is pass yeah. first. We don't see a lot of those. Every mm-hmm. all the guards these days, they score a lot. But Halliburton, he throwing up 20 assists with no with no turnovers. Drive him to the hole. Yeah, all crazy shit like Ruffy, that. So, the fact that he be putting up that many assists in the game and won't turn the ball over. And don't turn the ball over? Pain. It's Last insane. person that and did that was CP. he keeps doing it. And he keeps doing it over and over. <laughs> or can not, be like a one-off. Defense. Yeah, it's not a one-off. It's not like an accident. It's like, nah, 17 assists, no turnovers. 18 assists, no turnovers. 21 assists, no turnovers. It's like, who are you? <laughs> if people play defense, I think he get a, at least eight of those. Yeah. Um. And for my West side, I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna not choose Steph because he's a usual suspect. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because there's a number one team on the West side in Minnesota going crazy, and I'm putting Anthony Edwards. Oh, in Anthony Edwards. I knew I was sleeping on somebody. I'm taking Anthony Edwards. I like that. And, I like that a lot. In SGA, I'm taking Shea and Anthony Edwards. Only reason I'm not t- choosing Steph is because he's gonna be a starter anyway. It's Steph. But if I had to vote, yeah. he, he'll be a reserve this uh for this year. <laughs> but I'm taking Anthony Edwards and Shea <laughs> Gilly. Uh yeah, that's good. You got good ones. I'm taking Braun and Joker, and surprisingly, I'm gonna put A D in there. Um, I know A D get a lot of hate when he be having like 15 point games and shit. But if you go look at them stats, is he was on like a seven, eight game streak of like 30. 30 something. Yeah, I saw yeah, that. 30 something. But don't nobody talk about that because they losing. But he be getting off. He, I think the last game he might have had like 15 or something like that. But you know, his whole track record is 30 points here, seven points here, 40 points here, 11 points here. But when he racked them bitches up, don't nobody say nothing. But so West Side. Anthony Elvis, Shea, AD, Braun, and Joker, Eastside, Paolo, Halley, Giannis, MB, and Tyrese Maxey. I, I wonder now who y'all think gonna actually win now that it's back to East and West. Who y'all think actually gonna win this game, even though they don't be playing that hard? <laughs> I, think, I, think I think the East. I think the East gonna win. They got more youth. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. The West, you know, the older niggas in the All Star game, they don't give a fuck. Yeah, they're gonna sit down. They're gonna get they gonna sit down. It's gonna get to a part where we don't see Braun in the game no more. Braun gonna sit his ass down somewhere. Yeah, he's gonna be wearing a suit. <laughs> he's gonna be trying to coach. He's gonna be trying to coach. Sit down. Listen, bro. I, I feel like a little back brace, you know, the little thing y'all was bring. He's uh, he gonna already, ice them knees up. <laughs> Joker, Joker already don't care. Yeah, he don't. He's not even yeah, old no, basketball at all. He, he don't care about basketball as a whole, bro. <laughs> He don't care I about think basketball. He does. He just don't like the media. I think that's no, the difference. No, no that man. He, he likes that. basketball. It's the media he don't like. He's just good at it. He already said, "I'm just good at it." He just good at <laughs> basketball. That man wanna. I mean, you uh, can be good too. Be seven two. He wanna go over there and, and mess with his horses, bro. That's what he wanna do. <laughs> he don't care about basketball. This is a side job. Imagine winning a goddamn <laughs> championship as a like is a side hobby, bro. He only like this ain't the main thing for him. He didn't even put the hat on. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. He only had the shirt or the top. He didn't put neck. the hat on, bro. He don't care about the championship. Man bro. Was he just literally ready to go home. He was just like, <laughs> He's like this game is home. over, man. I get, I get to go home, bro. He did. Like he went man. home like a week after. <laughs> yeah. He didn't come back till right after the parade. Day. He was yeah, done. He left. He left right after the parade. He was going to leave right after the championship, and then they told him he had to stay oh, for the yeah, parade. Right. <laughs> they made him stay for the parade. Like Jeff, The NBA is legit a 9-5 to five for that man. He don't <laughs> care about it, bro. He'd he be ready to go, bro. I'm, I'm when he done. clock out, he, he <laughs> clocked out. <laughs> imagine, bro. Imagine one of the greatest players in NBA don't really care about basketball. <laughs> Like, you, say you, don't work that, bro. you got you got people that, that he don't work out or he don't work you out got hard people that like 
they they are die for this shit. You got Bron and Jordan and, and Shaq and, and all these and Kareem Abdul Jabbar. And they like, man, I all I ever lived to do was play basketball. And then here come Jokic and like, what? <laughs> all I ever did was, was I wanted to ride horses. It's like, I got really, 19 bro. of them. Like, what? I don't well, I guess Tim Duncan was the same way. He he ain't he, played basketball to mid high school. And yeah, he happened to be Oof. good at it. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan. Oh, you know what probably happened with Tim? Somebody saw him tall as shit walking. And it was like you play basketball. He said no. They said why not? No, because he was a swimmer. <laughs> he was a swimmer. That's what it was. He was a swimmer. He was a, yeah, swimmer? He was a swimmer. Yeah, Tim Duncan was on the swim. You're seven yeah, you foot to go to swimmer, bro. To swim. Yeah, he wanted to swim. Yeah. I remember he that story. I played basketball to what eleventh grade, I think. I think eleventh right. grade was actually. Bro, you can only yeah, he do said that. he didn't have no fundamentals of basketball whatsoever. He had no coordination of basketball. They had to teach him all of that. You can only do that when you tall as shit, bro. Yeah. Anybody Indeed, else that's like thing. anybody else that's short, you got to be playing basketball from a kid. Was six, yeah. exactly. But when you tall as shit, you could just start playing today, and you gonna be good eventually because you tall. Then that's just how it worked. Like, and B didn't start playing to the tenth grade. See what I'm oh, saying? And then what that. he do? They had to teach him the game too. He didn't know nothing about the game. There's not wow. a short. Listen, there's not a short motherfucker in the NBA today that said, "Oh yeah, I ain't start playing basketball until I was a senior in high school." Ain't nobody saying that. <laughs> <laughs> they they gonna tell you, yeah, I've been playing since I was I was I was in third grade. But that's always just to the story like you. that. I don't it's know, American bro. basketball. You, can't, you can only do that same. shit when you tall, bro. That's why I hate all y'all tall niggas, bro. Y'all could just y'all could just get up and do shit, some tall shit. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all just get up and just do tall shit. I gotta work extra fucking hard at everything. I like, really like. I want y'all to really think about this, bro. Think about how hard Nate Robinson had to to dribble and get open to get just a shot off. We don't even know if he's going to make it or not. But he just got to get a shot off at 5 whatever he is, 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, That's tough. But somebody like Wimbyama could just do it. Like, he's 7'4", can't nobody block a shot. He could just, I'm going to shoot from right here and just hit it. But somebody like Nate Robinson got to, like, he got to get up out of the step back and all, you know what I'm saying? He got to do a lot, bro. Like, I'm, I'm sorry for your hurt, Root, but you have to let that go. Man, whatever, man. <laughs> man, whatever, man. Y'all, I'm I'm gonna start saying that anybody that's short is the best player in whatever sport it is, bro. If you <laughs> think about it, I feel like you said this before one time. You guys, I, I'm just saying, bro. You gotta really think about it. Think about like if all right, take uh the skill of I'm trying to think somebody that's like. Six eight, right? He ain't got no skill, but he in the NBA. You know, there's players out there that's like that. That's six eight. They just out there playing basketball. They in the NBA. Are they good? No, but they six eight. Take his skill and put it on somebody that's five nine. He's not making the NBA. Yeah, Giannis brother. <laughs> Giannis brother. That's a perfect example. He's in the NBA right now for nothing. He's garbage though. You put his skill on somebody that's. Six foot, not even five. Now, I ain't gonna go to five now. Six foot and put Giannis brother skill on six foot. He not making the NBA, bro. He's gonna be selling insurance. He gonna be <laughs> <laughs> like it, it, it sucks that it's like that, but if you really think about all the short people that like really like get down and hoop, like De'Aaron Fox, for instance, he gotta do a lot. If he was six eight with those skills, he, we'll be talking about him like he at the top, like with Braun and all of yeah. them. Yeah, he's 6'2", right? 6'2", 6'3". Yeah, he's 6'2". Six six two. Two. You feel me? So it's, mm-hmm. it's height matters. So it's like, you know, I'm going to start saying all the greatest players ever is short. So all everybody but that's Iverson short wasn't that tall either, is, the better, is the better people. Spud Webb, uh, greatest six, all two. time. Spud Webb. Iverson was, you said Iverson was 6'2"? Well, he like 6'2". He's 6'1". No, nah, Iverson was 6'1". Hey, I, hey. I nah, thought he was 6'1". Like he was 5'11", 6 foot. No, nah, I thought he was six. Hey, I, oh, y'all, y'all serious? I thought he was I'm six t- one. He was five eleven, six foot. I don't Dang. believe that. Let me see how. I'm I thought he was six y'all. one. Check, check, check it, check it. But I'm telling y'all, Spud Webb, Earl Boykins, Muggsy Bowles, greatest basketball players of all time. <laughs> Earl Boykins, the poisonous frog. Hey, hey 
I'm telling you, they're hey, the greatest, the still greatest still players coaching? in the NBA. Uh, oh, six foot. Six oh, foot on the dot. Listen, man, do y'all – also, here's a stat. I think only 40 players under 5'9 uh, have been in the NBA. Of all the NBA, 40. Yeah, I ain't going to do it again, though. Oh, no, what's that boy? The boy that played for the um the Pelicans. The poor region. about um, Jose Alvarado. Turbo. Jose Alvarado. Yeah, he's like five, I think 10. he might be. I think he might be five ten. So he don't he don't meet the criteria of <laughs> under five. Who that receiver that was just playing the other day? Who's five eight, one hundred and forty five pounds? In um, the NFL. Why is he in the NFL? That small? I didn't even know you could make it to the NFL. Because he that small. yeah. Um, my actually the Dolphins had one. His uh, what was his name? He used to return oh, kicks. The little the receiver. Yeah, he used to return he kicks. Number it's because he's fast, like bro. You can only be yeah. in the league. You gotta be that fast. small if you fast. Even uh, what's Dallas running back? Deuce, Deuce Vaughn. He only I think he only got picked because his, his dad is a part of the thing. But he little. <laughs> they can't even see him uh when he grabbed the ball because yeah. everybody they say else. He five seven. Yeah, but so five eight, one hundred and forty five pounds. That's actually mm-hmm. that's literally I'm not five eight, but I'm one, I'm one forty five. <laughs> so me in the NFL is like, <laughs> hey, anything All possible. The gotta do is a a line. Just just stick their arm out and you're going down. <laughs> you gotta you gotta catch them first. I'm pretty. You there's, gotta think about there's it. like different in NBA. I like, mean, in the NFL. If you're, if you're super short in the NFL, you're something. Something is like at the peak. So he probably mm-hmm. super fast. Look at Tyreek Hill though. Tyreek Hill was only 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, yeah. He muscular, too, though. He not 145. He's stocky. He not no, 145. He's about, he's 145 like is small. I, look at me, bro. I'm 145. This is somebody Tyre, This Tyre is somebody in the like, NFL, bro. Look at this. This is 145. he got to be like 180. <laughs> Tyreek kind of jack. Yeah, yeah Tyreek. He's 180, like, 180. But he yeah. runs a 4'2". Like what, you call it, what you call it weigh 170? Who? Who? Devonta Smith. From the Eagles, he's little. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, little. yeah, he is. He's little. little. I thought they was. But gonna, he's six foot though. I thought they was gonna yeah. really like, really like, uh, bust him up in the in the NFL. Mm-hmm. I thought he was gonna be hurt. Yeah, like, he but busted he, people up, dog. I told y'all he wasn't gonna get busted up, y'all. I thought he was gonna get hurt, I bro. I did say he was gonna get hurt. I thought he was gonna man. get hurt because he's small. I'm thinking like, bro, I, I he really good. I thought he was gonna bulk up too. He ain't do that. <laughs> no, I think the they trying size. to. No, I, th- I think they trying to, but it's just, it's just, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work like that for some people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, time. His bo- that's how his body set up. His body, yeah, but I know he's trying because mm. they know it's eventually gonna happen when somebody gonna give him that little. They gonna pull out a stick on him. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, tr- I think they actually hit. I think they tattooed him a couple times, but no, no, they they him. he get right back up. No, nah, they hit him. They didn't. They ain't whack a time. Are you go? What was the sound effect? <laughs> whack a time. Are you go? Come here. <laughs> hey, yeah, that that sound right there. He definitely got toasted right there. With a sound like that, <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't get those yet. Oh man, they be giving all of those to Jalen Waddle. Jalen Waddle get one of those every week. Yeah, Jay, Jay, <laughs> he be getting tattooed. Water gonna get tattooed. I think it's. I think it might be because of um the play calls that they give him. So they kind of everything's out the middle. They be leaving him. Out, know, they be leaving him out to dry. He don't know how to avoid hits. He don't know how to maneuver like the rest of them boys do. Tyreek Hill mm-hmm. be in the middle too. He just know how to stop, turn, and go the opposite way before he hit. Or he'll drop. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or he'll just not take a hit at all. He just drop he down. Yeah. Oh man. Well. We are at the end of the show. Does anybody have anything to say? We can go down the lane of Hutch versus Trayvon Walker if you want There's to. No lane to go down, and we already know this. We already know this. No lane. Nah, we gonna, we gonna say that. We gonna say that for a show where I can show my face. All right, we gonna <laughs> save that for a show. Okay, I know we don't have any thrillings. Do you have I, a thrilling? I, I, I want to see. I want. The, I want the people. To, I want the people to see me. <laughs> when I break down Aiden Hutchinson, <laughs> and I speak have, on the greatness of Trayvon, greatness Walker. Of Trayvon Walker, who's right. sitting at home right now, we sitting at home because of him <laughs> not being good enough. He are he listen. He already he already been to the playoffs. Trayvon Walker, 
You said he been to the playoffs? Yeah. He was the last year. Oh yeah, we were. Okay. You right. When he got three when he got three sacks on the season. Um yeah, uh, we like I said, he got he got double digits this year, but like I said, I'm like I want the people to see my face. <laughs> we're gonna save it. We're gonna, we gonna save it. We're gonna save it. Um you still have a whole feel? ten packs behind Aiden Hutchinson. <laughs> I got a question. How do y'all what do y'all feel about this dang uh this transfer portal, bro? How y'all feel about this right now? It's I, getting crazy. I don't like it. You know, I'm it's too it. much. <laughs> you know, I'm loving it. <laughs> we, it's it's funny because be Steve and Ben <laughs> are FSU me. fans, and that was two different views right there. No, but I'm, I have reasons why, but I'm not going to get into it. We need another show for that one. All right, we're going we gonna to hold on to that. But we're going to get up out of here. This has been another episode of FT Sports. Ben. Close us out. So, <laughs> ben. Ayuka. What's going on? And Steve. <laughs> Come here. And Ben, you. <laughs> and me. I'm gone. <laughs>